Previously on Alan Wake. It's not a lake. It's an ocean. After saving my wife from the mysterious dark presence, I found myself trapped in the dark place. Imagination can be the enemy here. A nightmarish world that exists somewhere beyond the shores of our own existence. We're the one making all this happen. Just do what Zane tells you. Follow the signal. Is all this really coming out of my head? The dark place playing tricks on you. I made my way across its ever-shifting landscape, trying to reach Thomas Zane. If you're trapped in your own nightmares, you're still going deeper. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Really? Your delusions are out of control. Get out of my head. Seriously, Al. You need to get a grip. You know reality's different here. See what I mean, Al? Al? Ugh. I think I'm stuck on this side. Well, you're gonna have to find your way out of there. I'll wait. Just remember, you're still in the dark place. You know that, right? I don't want to alarm you, pal, but it's sink or swim time. Fine. I could feel the pressure mounting. Barry was right. Time was running out. Everything I saw was a dark, twisted version of reality based on my memories and thoughts. I had to accept it. If all of this was from my mind, then I was the one making all this happen. I was literally fighting myself. It was a moment of clarity. After finishing departure, I felt finished myself. All I had wanted was to save Alice. After that, a part of me had been ready to just give in and die. But I hadn't given up. Thomas Zane had reached me. I had run across a nightmarish landscape following a signal from him. He kept telling me I was sinking, going too deep. I wasn't sure if he meant the dark yeah. place or insanity. Perhaps the Nice job, Al! So, you really are nuts, huh? Let's face it, we always knew this was coming. I guess, but I actually feel pretty rational, all things considered. Crazy people don't know they're crazy. That's where they're crazy. Hey, check out the light show behind the lodge. That's Zane's light. Yeah, you're done sinking now. That means he's just about caught up with you. You better go talk to him. Lots of fireworks here. Nice. Wait, turn the old gods play. Music came out all wrong. It attracted the horrors.
very deep, but I'm a little busy not dying over here. Jeez, always a melodrama. Surrounded by the enemies and deafened by the horse. Wait, what help? Inside now, Al. The big guy busted down the door. Whoa. See, Al? This is classic. Always making things complicated. This is just a memory. Even your memories are complicated. Wake yourself up, but first, you have to reach yourself. The cabin? Yes, my cabin. It will not be easy. Your previous work can help you. I still have some pages of your manuscript left. Words like that have power here. different. I was glad to have Zane with me in this place. He needed to run with such as it was. But a part of me wondered if he was even human anymore, after so many years in this place.
swirling madness. It reminded me of the dark presence. Another memory, but it could still kill me. facing, the environment became even wilder and stranger, like it was no longer even bothering to pretend that things were normal.
hard to make sense of this place. It's a dream. This is a vast place. Home to forces and beings that are completely alien. The Dark Presence. Yes. I don't know what happened to it after your final encounter. Is there any way out of here? Sometimes transmissions can be sent between worlds. You've done this yourself. But to actually leave the dark place, I haven't found a way. Stucky's gas station. That's something I didn't want to see. But obviously I wasn't the one in the driver's seat. Another memory made real. Wait, what the other thing The insanity he was facing was already a part of it. In him. His own doing. He couldn't possibly win. He didn't even want to. At least the lighthouse was much closer now. I would have to make my way up there somehow. There was no power to the log lift. The generator was running just fine, but I still had to find a way to connect it to the log lift.
The part of you that is in control is in the cabin, dreaming and insane. I don't think I like that. You represent the part of our weight that is capable of rational thought and planning, which is why I'm talking to you. If that part can regain control, then you have a chance of making it. But a part of you wants to give in. There's comfort in the oblivion of dreams. You represent the part that isn't ready to quit and die. Wait, are you telling me I'm not real? You're as real as anything else in this place. So there are two of me? Yes. And the one you called Mr. Scratch, he's me as well? No. Zane, are you playing some kind of game with me? I am not the author of your story. How can you say that when you wrote that page about me and the clicker? It wasn't one of my pages. You directed me to it. You had Weaver guard it. Yes, she was needed. And you needed the clicker. But I am not. What? I don't understand. Ellen, you should keep going. Zane? Zane, come on! Well, that cleared things up. the foolish mistake I made with Barbara. Thank you. 
Wake ran for the light. It was pointless. He would never reach it. His life would be snuffed out just as easily as the very thing he thought would save him. Even with the light gone, all I could do was keep going. Since we're being so frank here, Alan, and let me just reiterate how happy I am that you've had this breakthrough, I would like to summarize your condition. By all means. And please, just let me know if you think I'm being unfair. All right. Well, let's start with the obvious. The car crash. Untreated head trauma. All due respect to Doc Nelson, but he's hardly a neurosurgeon. I think that the injury has affected you more than you realize. Yeah, I, I have had bad headaches. Then there's your history of substance abuse, which, combined with your chronic insomnia, has resulted in hallucinations and extremely poor impulse control. That's a dangerous combination, one which your wife has unfortunately had to suffer from far more than you. I know. I know she has. I don't think I'm exaggerating when I say that you are existing in a state of all-encompassing denial. Your vivid fantasy casts you as a heroic victim and allows you to skirt responsibility for your own actions. It allows you to solve your imaginary problems and dismiss the things that truly trouble you. In your self-serving delusions, your personal problems are assets that allow you to save Alice, perhaps even the world. Dr. Harmon, I... I think that's spot on. I can't argue with any of that. Well, I'm sure I'm stating the obvious. I don't want to labor the point, but, well, um... No, no. I understand. It's important that I face it. Precisely, Alan. You've put so much effort and imagination into this self-deception, but what good has it really done for you? You refused my offer of help, and here you are. Did being so obdurate really get you to a better place? No. No. And did it really help Alice? Was this really the best thing for your wife? Probably not. Probably not. Why don't we find out? You know, I've been talking with her. There's something she wanted to do. I didn't need to hear it. It wasn't really her. And it would just be poison in my ears. Torture I could do without. There was no point in playing mind games with myself. What I heard in there wasn't the truth. It was just another toxic mirage. It cut deep, but that made me all the more determined to force myself to snap out of it. I didn't want to be that guy anymore. I had to make myself see the light. still a little further to go. You must take full control of your own mind. Reject all of the fantasies you have constructed. Yeah, well, I think I can do that. 
A lot of the stuff I've seen here is personal and ugly as hell. I'll admit it hurts, but it's not fooling me. I know it's fake. Good. You are aware. The part of you bent on self-destruction is not. But you must be careful just because you know the lies for what they are. That doesn't make the danger any less real. I'll make it. I don't have any choice. Here. I cannot come any further, but this will help you on your way. Thanks. I guess. Hey, let me tell you something, Alan. I know how your mind works. You screw up, then you start analyzing it, and before you know it, you start writing all these horror stories in your head. Don't you? Come on, I don't do that. <laughs> yes, you do! I know how it goes. You're a complete failure. I hate you and I'll never forgive you for whatever it was that you did. Am I wrong? Oh, man. See? I know you. But, Alan, it's all in your head. It is. I love you, and I'm not going anywhere. Lighthouse. I was relieved to have made it here, but I wasn't sure what was going to happen now. Zane had left me, 
I wasn't sure what the Dark Presence had done to him if he couldn't follow, but from now on, I was on my own. Still, he had gotten me this far. I would never have made it by myself. This thing was going to end. It wouldn't be long now. I was surprised by the change of scenery, but not much. I was starting to understand the symbolism, the way the dark place flowed. Wow, it's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Kind of depressed here. What? So Zane's your new buddy now. I feel abandoned. This is ridiculous. You're not even real. That doesn't mean I don't have any feelings. The thing is, you need to get all rational in here. Abandon your fantasies, right? Well, I kind of hate to say this, pal, but I'm one. Fine, you're abandoned. Fine. What I'm saying is the only way you're getting in that cabin is through me. It's one of those kill your darlings things. Hell, you're used to that, big shot rider. Am I right? It was in everything. It was even taking a... What does it say about when this dishman killed himself from getting better? Here we go! I'm earning the 50% commission.
it. Where am I? I can't find my way. Why is this happening to me? I can't find my way. It's too dark. Why? Why is this happening to me? Just like that, my mind was clear. Zane had been right. I could think clearly again. But I couldn't survive in this place the way he had, and I might not make it back a second time. Leaving this place would be hard. Maybe impossible. It wouldn't take much for my thoughts to stray again. It was too easy to get lost in the dark place. Before, I was ready to curl up and die. Let myself slip away. But here I was. The yet unwritten future waiting to unfold before me. A sequel to Departure. My name is Alan Wake, and I'm a writer.